Now, TNT qualified three semi-finalists, including the defending champion, to the men's 200 meters on day seven of the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England. Defending champion Jareem Richards won heat four of the men's 200 meters in 20.68 seconds to move on to the semis. Richards' qualifying time was the fourth fastest. Dwight St. Hilaire also advanced after finishing second in Heat 1 in 20.85 seconds. Kyle Grew confirmed his semi-final spot with a 21.01 second place in Heat 5. Team TTO's Mauricio Preto finished fourth in 23.69 seconds to qualify for the semis in Heat 5 of the women's 200. In the field, Andwele Wright finished 10th in the men's long jump final with a best distance of 7.57 meters. Olympian Tyra Kittens finished outside the six qualifiers for the women's high jump group A. She was able to clear 1.76 meters but just missed out on the final. Road cyclist Tanil Campbell was seventh in the women's individual time trial with a time of 42 minutes, 7.99 seconds. In boxing, featherweight Tiana Guy put on a gutsy performance but Nigeria's Elizabeth Oshoba won 3-2 on points. Super heavyweight Nigel Paul lost his quarterfinal bout to England's delicious Ori by unanimous decision. In netball, the Calypso Girls fell to a slim 41-32 defeat against Northern Ireland. Official Noel shot 100% scoring all 18 of her attempts. Tahira Hollingsworth and Julissa Cooper both contributed 7 of 9 attempts. And it was a premature end to their match for the TNT women's volleyballers who had to retire due to injury versus Sri Lanka. Hey, thanks, Kent. Now, the eyes of the region are on Jamaica as they registered a stunning 57-55 victory over netball top seeds Australia at the Commonwealth Games. The Sunshine Guilds overturned a five-goal deficit in the final period to earn the triumph in Birmingham and surged to the top of Pool A. The win came as a shock to the netball world, but based on Jamaica's performances so far, it is no less than they deserve. Goal shoot Janelle Fowler scored 47 from 50 attempts and a tenacious Jamaica defence applied the pressure on Australia's shoots to take the final quarter to 17 to 9. The Jamaicans are fourth on the world ranking and finished third in the past two editions of the Commonwealth Games.